Ja Morant's infamous were good in the West line earlier in the season kind of brought, you know, your team into the spotlight a little bit. And I know you kind of spoke on it before, but do you think that impacted you guys at all? You Maybe know, I change- feel, huh? Already. Keep going. Yeah, no, like that's so you feel like it did not impact your guys' mindset at all. No, because what do you want him to say? I mean, we're not good. Or, mm-hmm. no, we're good. We're fine. Ain't nobody worried about anything. Like, um, you should say that. That's that's he said that and it gave us a boost. Mm-hmm. We're here to mm-hmm. play, we're here, we're here to back it up, all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's crazy how the media kind of spends it because, like, hearing it from him, like, the media just portrays it as, like, oh, my gosh, these guys are just talking, 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 talking. But if you're in that locker room, mm-hmm. you guys, it, as long as you guys are all on the same page, it really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Now, you were saying some wild stuff. Like, that's not that wild. Yeah. Saying LeBron's I old didn't... isn't that, like, oh, my gosh, because he is old. Yeah. That part. Y'all, at this point, all y'all said it. So did you at that part, <laughs> that, there was nothing wrong with that, and I didn't have a problem with with Josh saying that either. Like that, that is a rising star. You're supposed to have that confidence. Like I didn't have no problem with that. That's how we feel. Mm-hmm. Like you know, we we feel like we good enough to be the best in the West. Like that's just how you got to go about it. I think media just attacked it because y'all are young. Y'all haven't won yet, and it was again they're gonna always. Try to find something to poke oh, at. Bro, it's Ja. He's one of the most popular players ever grown most up. Most polarized or one of the most and, polarized and players. Everybody. I mean, like, if he says something like that, hell yeah, you're going to click on that. Mm-hmm. Might as well put out like that. If you're a, if you're a media company, you'd be dumb to not mm-hmm. brand it in that kind of way. Like, you got to make money too. Like, everybody got to eat. Mm-hmm. But like, that's like, that's their job. Like, if you meet these media people in person, they're going to be like, hey, love you. Like, right. Just everything makes sense to me. Like it, it makes sense. Right. With all the dark cloud that's over Ja, mm. give a, a opportunity to kind of give positivity to who he is as a teammate, as a brother, as your running mate. As this stuff has been going on, are you tapping in with him? How's he holding up? How's he doing? Talk me through. Like what's what's going on with y'all? Like y'all, y'all brotherhood. Yeah. Um, no, he's good. I mean, he's, uh, I think just growing up with <clears throat> this much mm-hmm. attention on you, like, especially being this young, I mean, it's a lot to deal with. And I think, uh, I mean, you're always going to make mistakes growing up mm-hmm. and people got to understand, like you're growing up and you're the most popular player at this age, probably ever mm-hmm. theoretically. Like I had to do an interview based on like, just how, like how how he's whatever like how popular he is just from an engagement perspective mm-hmm. look at that all the time like mm-hmm. I mean dude it's it's insane and a lot of things back then that you could get away with you can't you can't do you got to be you know a certain way but I mean dude's great like that's you can you can people always got to understand that everybody human like right everybody's human so right. I mean that's my brother though like no matter what like I I stand by my brother and I think that's like the lesson everybody should take away mm-hmm. from this it's like bro no matter what anybody says about your homies no matter what anybody says mm-hmm. about um whatever like you ride for your people if you know your people better than everybody obviously you're gonna know your people better than everybody else mm-hmm. everybody's gonna say whatever but they're everybody that never. It never matters at the mm-hmm. end of the day. It's your family. It's your brother. Um, I don't know. That's just how I am. It's not like a code thing. It's just right. kind of like, right. you know, that's my dog. <clears throat> so Right. Ride with him. He going to get right back to running the league like he does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he going to get right back to jumping on everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I do mean, agree. That's like if this- they move the charge circle. A little further up, bit, all that <laughs> stuff. He gonna get back to running it just like he does. He already knows that. You know, he, he works hard. He's the smartest. He's smart as hell. Um, he should have been MVP the other year. Not this year. whenever, whenever he should have been, he should have been MVP. So I mean, the dude is he's he's high level. So like, walk us through how he is in the locker room. You know, his engagement, his engagement as a leader. Um, because we don't. A lot of us don't really know Ja. Mm-hmm. Um, I shared a locker room with him actually during All Star break or during the All Star weekend, and uh, he was he 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 kind of was you know soft spoken. I feel like he was a little on the shy side, like he was just super chill, and it was different from what I was expecting. Um, 
you know, that was my first time really just, you know, connecting with with Ja. Uh, how how is he? I mean, at All Star, yeah, we're just we, we're just on our break. Like he's yeah. just, he's just we just tone all the way down because yeah. I mean, there's just so much, especially in our season, like going on and so much he has to take on, like offensively, and you're just chill, like. But mm-hmm. I mean, he's a bro, like he's a homie, like mm-hmm. cracks jokes, like he's <laughs> we laugh a lot, like mm-hmm. uh, um. I think he has that switch that he can flip where he gets so competitive and uh, he he knows when to turn it on for the game. He gets us all in that mode where we're like, all right, let's go. Let's go out there and be dogs. Let's have that unwavering confidence no matter what. It don't matter what anybody throws at you. Um, it don't matter. Mm-hmm. And so when you have that in your point guard and your leader, uh, it's easy to follow and get behind someone like that. You mm-hmm. you know where his heart is. You know that how badly he wants this. And I mean, he, at the end of the day, he's a student of the game. He knows the game so well. Um, and on court coach, he knows where to be. He's telling me all this thing. Like we we talk without even we'll be talking on defense about an offensive play. Like you know how it is. You can mm-hmm. just be talking about shit without even looking. Like right, um, right. From that perspective, yeah. But like just general, bro. Like. Just kicking it. Yeah. Like he's just he's, he's just one of the bros. He's just one of the bros, man. Like it really ain't nothing. And that's what everybody, that's what Dylan. Mm-hmm. That's what him. That's what anybody you think, bro. There's a reason why we all kick it. There's a yeah. reason why we look like this. We're not just yeah. like we we see other teams try to do the same little look that we do yeah. and have fun and look like they're together and have yeah. a little the dance right. and the little like bro, <laughs> like you thought we was doing this to bro, no, we was doing this before you put the cameras on us. Yeah. We do this shit. So all of that crib. was before. Cause bro. y'all y'all did have the culture of where y'all unified, whether it's coming out before the games, whether one person has uh the the press after the game. Yeah, all of y'all, y'all about, unified, yeah. y'all all together, y'all Flick cheering it. each other on, y'all flicking it up. Like y'all, y'all created a culture there. Mm-hmm. It says a lot about y'all though, um, from a positive standpoint, because you don't hear nothing that this person is getting into it with this person. This person doesn't like this person. Y'all all jail so well, mm-hmm. and I, and and I think people have to realize a lot of that stems from Jaws' leadership. You know him uh, making the game you know, enjoyable for, for young fans to, you know, the older fans. Like he, he's connecting dots from generations. He's a dog. People just choose to forget when they want. Right. And they'll come back around. Right. It's just how it is. Like give it a, give it a week. You come back around, you realize he a beast and you realize, I mean, that's for everybody else. It doesn't matter to me. Like I, he's my, it's my brother. Like Mm -hmm. for me, it's just, I never cared what anybody else thinks anyway. So, but I mean, for everybody else, yeah, that's 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 for y'all. Like, mm-hmm. that gonna be okay. Yeah, <clears throat> for sure. All right, Jackie, it's time for us to put some entries on the NBA Finals. You ready? Come on, man. You know I'm going Joker versus Bam, Jamal versus Jimmy, and look at that. <laughs> The money already being deposited in my account right now. But wait, let the people know what Prize Picks is, man. So Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players like the video on your screen, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projection. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. Damn. Oh man, look, I know how much I just won. But 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 let the prize people know how much they can win too, man. You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code PODCASTP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, prize picks will give you $20. If you deposit $100, prize picks will give you $100. Chi-chi! 